Hi everyone, just a quick video on uh, basically dubbing uh, and what not to throw away, especially when you're tying flies like this. This is a, basically just a, an early season, it's a, well in this case it's like a temple dog style fly, uh, but though it's tied with, with fox uh, tail this year. And this is silver fox tail, and it's quite long as you can see. But while you're tying these, you can end up with a lot of uh, basically waste fur, but really good fur. Uh, natural fur that you don't throw away, that's really handy to hang on to. Now when I'm tying the fly, what I do is, when I'm preparing the wing, in this case for a fly like that, basically turn away from the tail, you want to get the fibres nice and nice and mobile and uh, take all the tangles out of it and using like a comb you, just can, you can basically brush out quite a lot of dubbing so you get it nice and smooth and you'll see the sort of wing you get here and uh, so do both ends, it's just any broken ends and so on and once you did that obviously you've got a nice wing ready for tying your fly now this here is what I'd say, don't throw that away. You can see that there, that's great dubbing. Uh, you can actually use it the way it is. Or what you can do, what I like to do, uh, two or three things I actually like to do, I actually like to mix it with, uh, uh, like if I've got seals for, say for instance, or even a packet of SLF, if you forget the name Patridge there, but because yeah, now Wopsy actually sell this now. Uh, but say I've got a pack of, this is SLF. It's a great dubbing as well, it's a, thin, it's a synthetic living fibre. Now what I would do is I'd take half of it, half this, I mean that rogue fibre, and I'd put that on there, and then the same, do that on there. Now what you can actually do, I don't, I'll just, I haven't got it out, uh, I want a material to last a wee tad longer, to get more out of it. These are flashes. I mean, it's, these are, are good. These are these ones are from vineyards. Where we've got, say, a, there's a black. You can add any colour to it, like to honest with you, uh, the natural blend into it. But you can take some of this coming and then add a wee touch of flash. So first thing I do is just natural, just mix it a wee bit myself. So this is the one with the flash. So I'm just my, I, so I put it together so when I go to put it into this, this is a crop, so I'll show you the, the coffee grinder I use, this is it, so I've had it a long time, you can probably see crops at the top there, nobody else is, yeah, so basically that's it, I've had it for, I don't know, must be a good 15 or plus years old that, um, I'll just add a wee touch more onto this, so, then you can blend that together. The first thing we're going to do is just blend the normal black. So we've got like a 50-50 there. So I'll put it in. So do the one you don't want flashing in first. Because flashing doesn't always work, though I find it doesn't matter. So anyway, what I do is just simply I pulse it. And that blends them together. Have a wee quick look. See how it's come together. And if you don't feel it's 100% again, just put it back in. Doesn't take much. You don't want to be sitting there and grind away. You want to just pulse it. There we go. That should do it. So basically there's the one without flash, now all I do is just put it back in the packet, throw it in, spread it out, there we are, and then we go to our, the one with a wee bit of flash in it, again just plunk it in. to give this a wee clean so I can see it there. 
It's a good thing about the, this grinder, you can actually see see through. There you go, that looks fine. That actually looks ideal. And there we go. And that sure get two dubbins used up. Obviously the natural fibre that you've been gonna you could easily have thrown away. We've got a dubbin here just to the natural, I've doubled it up. Uh, just by doing that, adding a wee bit of flash into I don't know if you can maybe see that, maybe a bit with the light, but it just has a nice bit of flash there, good in any fly really, whether it be salmon fly, whether it be sort of small wets or some midge pupa, it'd be great in the midge pupa that in the thorax. So it's endless what you could actually do with it. And as I say, it all comes down to just not throwing away really good and a natural fur. So Hope you found the, the video interesting and helpful and uh, try it, I mean it's, as I say, it's a great way. And all you need is just a, you can label it, you can put it in a packet, and suck it, bags here. And uh, sometimes what I actually do is, I just put it onto the same pack, so I do, so I know where it came from. So if I go like that, I've got the, the, the one with the flash and one without. I'll put a staple on it. And there we go. And that's that's for blend and we've a lot more dubbing to mess around with and have and you'll always have better flies if you can mend your own uh, so blend your own furs, your own dubbins. So I say I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.